Hi everyone. Right, um, I've got this key that I want for a project. And you have to excuse me because I'm in the middle of doing one anyway. Uh, but what I liked about it was, I'm not sure if you can see it. I'm just going to show you. Maybe I can raise the camera a little bit more. My camera's not very... <laughs> Maybe that'll do. Uh, can you see the ridges on it? So what I'm going to do is, I want to make some more ridges here. And the way I'm going to do that is to use some of the wire that I have. Now, of course, I need a wire that will bend. I'm not sure whether that one will. You know, it will bend how I want it to bend. So, I've got here a white one. Um, I picked this up a pound for all of that. It's not bad, is it? Um, and it's... Well, now, I don't know what information it has. It just says 150 by uh, 38 centimetres long. Doesn't say what gauge it is. So I'm going to try and find that out. No, it doesn't say what gauge it is. Sorry, can't help you. But I'm just going to take uh, two or three of these strands out anyway. Um, and I'm just going to... I want some more... Um, just to tart it up a bit, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Now, it's... Um, I may have to glue that on, actually. But uh, on the other hand, I might not. I'm just going to, in fact I only need one, I don't need any more than that. So, and I'm not bothered if that doesn't sit perfect, that's fine, happy with that. When that's painted that'll just give it, I might do a little bit there as well I think. Yeah, go on let's do a little bit there. Just going to move that one out of the way, so I'm not going to need all of that. Um, and do one here. So it's basically just to wind that on tightly, I think. Like that. And then I'm going to have to snip that off. Wind that in. Yeah, when that's painted, that's going to look exactly how I want it to look. So, yeah, I'm happy with that. Now, what I'm going to do is, um, when I can find, I had a sheet. Want to find my sheet? There we go. Here's my sheet. And what I'm going to do is to just go over it, uh, paint it white. I'll use the bigger one, I think. I actually washed it off properly. So that's yeah, I like that. That's going on a project. I mean, these keys are so easy to alter. You can do absolutely anything with them. And I just want mine. Uh, for a project that I'm going to be doing, a canvas. Somebody asked me if I'll do some more altered art, and that's what I'm going to do. But uh, I just wanted to prepare the key, really. I'm just going to flip that over. I'm doing both sides, don't have to. But I'm not sure which way around I want the key, to be honest. And I do like that, I think that looks great. So, pop that back in its pot, and while that's wet, because I'm going to dry it. Um, I'm just going to get some alcohol inks, I think. Let's play. I get quite a few people sending me emails uh, saying, oh, I love it, Fiona, when you say let's play, because we don't know what you're going to come up with. Neither do I. <laughs> now, I'm going to use, if I can, put a little bit of this left, I think. This is the green. The lettuce, I think. See? 
there. Uh, with that, I'm also going to use the raspberry. I haven't got a uh, clue what uh, the canvas is going to look like or what colours I'm using on it. I've just decided to use this. Um, let's have a look. Butterscotch. What I use some of the my favourite colours. See, I can't even open this one. Now I have to have something to grip. Otherwise, I hurt my hands. Okay. I just love the way the colours mingle. Well, now we've got that side done, let's turn it over. I just like those colours together. Now I'll dry it. I'm going to move that out of the way. Take my... Um, I'm going to untangle all my wires. I must sort this out. I'm just going to turn that over. Now, let me just have a look at that. Just move that up a bit. Mm. Not dark enough, I don't think. Uh, let's have a look at this ginger. A little bit of ginger I'm going to add to it. In places. I don't want so much of the red. But I do if you know what I mean. It's really hard to explain. Just wanted it a little bit darker. But it's an easy way to decorate, you know, a key. Um, and that's to add a little bit of wire. And what inspired me to do that was the fact that I saw the ridges on the key itself anyway. That's better. It's got all the colours in it that I want. Okie dokie, now what I've got to do is pop that to one side to dry. That won't take long. I'm not sure if this will wipe off, probably not. Hmm, might need to get my uh, cleaner out. Where is my. cloth or wipe just to get most of it off it'll all come off eventually now a lot of people ask me what these are because it's not the normal thing you see this is a baking sheet um what you put in the oven when you're putting your cakes on and things like that you can use anything, but I choose to use these because I buy them for a pound. They're just as thick. They last just as long as those you pay a fortune for. So just a little tip, run along to your pound shop, run along to a cake shop or whatever and invest in those. And you generally get more. This is cut. I had um, a large A3 sheet um, for a pound. So that's a little tip for you. Now, let me just see. Because I'm playing, I need a board. Do 
Do I do a big canvas or a little canvas? Do I do a board? Raymondo, where have you put all me get? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Raymondo, I'll let you off. Right, I'm just going to get a canvas. Let's have a look. I've got these little ones. Remember I bought them for 69p? Yeah, I'm going to use one of those. I bought these 69 pence at artist boards. Use what you like, doesn't matter. Okay. Oops. So that's what I'm going to be using. Now, I'm going to have the key along there somewhere like that. So, what we need to do, put the hot glue gun on. And I'm just going to get some bits and pieces that I'm going to use. Now, just talk amongst yourselves while I uh, look about and find what I'm going to use. Yeah, I've got one of those I want on, I think. Maybe two. Got some flowers. Oh, let's have a frame. Frame, frame, frame. Oh, I've got a nice frame here. Which I'm going to use. What do you think? Um, possibly a heart. Yeah. Oh, what about some of that? Oh, I've just found some things I might like to use. Oh, maybe. Don't know. I've got, I'm collecting a few bits and pieces. So, like I say, just, you want to do one with me? Join in. <laughs> just collect some bits and pieces. Now, I do need, of course, a picture. I'd like to put a picture in. There we are. I need one that's not going to be too big. See, that's. No, I could, I'm not bothered about this showing because I can cover that. That's not the right picture for me. What about that one? Hmm. Yeah, I like that one. Right then. I'm not sure if I need that. Okie dokie, let's see. I'm not going to prepare the board at all, I don't need to do that. And I think I'll put the picture there. Yeah, and I've got some flowers that I might want to use. I want them that way or that way. Possibly like that. I'm not sure if I need to do... Now, I could get away with it, I think. If I did that, yes, I could. I could get away with that. Right, okay, I think that's what we're going to do. Right. What I need to do is stick this down to start with. Um, I'm just trying to think. I think I'm going to use the glossy accents to actually stick the picture down. Like I say, I'm not going to cut it. Like that. I don't think I have to. And I think I'm going to put it round about there. Like that. I'm going to need... Oh, 
I hope I'm recording this. Let me just weigh that up. That'll do like that. Um, and then I will glue that on. Right, so that's the main things that I've got on that I uh, need. Okie dokie. I'm sure I'm going to need both of those. I'm able, yeah. Now, what I'm also going to do is put some flowers on. Now, you can make these canvases as simple as you want or as hard as you want. You know. Um, yeah, there's some nice flowers. We'll have these. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut my flowers ready. Don't waste them bits because we can use them somewhere else. Did it work? Hopefully. Okay, okay. Well, that was silly. I wanted this one on first, didn't I? Right, okay. I'm going to pop that on there like that. Get some more glue. Yeah, oops, come off, silly old. Okie dokie. And then I'm going to just fill in the area like that. Oops, a daisy. Just put these where I want them. I'm going to cut a couple of these as well. And the thing we're doing these is just get yourself a good array of flowers. Don't worry about the colour. I could put red, black and blue on there. It doesn't matter. We're going to paint them. Yeah, even though the picture's there. <laughs> we just have to be a bit careful when we're doing that section. Um, I could have painted it all up front, but I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it at the moment. I'm going to do it white to start with, and then we'll see where we go from there. Okie dokie. Lots of these pretty little ones. But uh, best thing about doing a mixed media is that you can uh, just literally throw on anything you want.
Right, here's a little tip when you're uh, wanting to do your letters. Now, I've changed my mind because I was going to put funny on it, but I'm going to put true love. Um, add a touch of glue. Because it's a non-stick mat, it will stick, but it will peel off when you're ready. So, just do that. And I'm using a wooden letter. If you haven't got the right letters, it you know, make do. Um, I'll show you what I've done. I've used an M, chopped off the end, to make an E, because I didn't have one. Uh, but that doesn't matter at all. It'll still all go on and look like true love. And I've used it for both of those. I'm not fussed. It's a mixed media project. Um, and here is what we've got so far. Um, so I've got all the bits on that I want. I'm going to put true and love here. Um, and then I'll probably put something in there as well. Now I'm going to wait for that to dry because I've put some little teardrops on it as well. Uh, just uh, with paste. Uh, in a template and um, right now we're just going to do these now again I'm going to paint them um, in white first we get another tissue look my paintbrush is buggered see if that'll do hold that in probably not probably come undone uh, and look it's just so easy to flick your, your brush around your letters get them done and you don't have to get it on your fingers and you can wait for them to dry or dry them off and it's just a lot quicker and easier than having the fiddly bits to hold them Right, and I'm just going to take the excess paint off, like that. And then I'm going to take the alcohol ink to them again. While that's wet. So I hope you can see what I'm doing. Oh, let me just move this a bit. You see that? Yeah, I think so. Right, again, I'm going to take the... Um, I need a dark brown, to be honest. Let me just find where it is. Orange, don't want that one. Here's my dark brown. A little tip, Letraset ink. Letraset ink, the alcohol inks. You get more in them than you do in the uh, normal ones. Um, and the, I think they're cheaper. Now, I'm going to use a brush for this, I think. I'm only t I mean, I'm playing at the moment. I don't know whether it's going to work. I'm just playing. Love playing. Ah. Put that on. Dab your bit like that. And I'm going to have this two-tone colour, I think. Yeah, I think I'm going to go like that. I'm going to keep that out, take hold of the Adirondack one, and um, this is the butterscotch. And it should work out a little bit lighter. In fact, you can go all over them now because it's uh, all blending in together. Just go completely over it. And you've still got the two tone. Like that. Yeah, I like that. Hmm, doesn't look much at the moment, but uh, it will. Yeah, like that. 
pop those back. Now I'm going to dry those off. Now, you don't need to overload your canvas. You really don't need to do that at all. Um, I, To be honest, I do... F I mean, it's my own opinion only. I do feel that if they're overloaded, it does spoil them. Um, I'm quite a simple person. Uh, simple, elegant and whatever. So, But you can add to them. If you don't put too much on to start with, um, just basically get a, you know, a basic cover of a canvas then what you can do is um, build on that now that's exactly what I'm going to do um, I'm just going I've got glue strands wait a minute that's better I'm just gonna take these off pop them to one side doesn't matter about the underneath at all I'm gonna pop them onto that plate anyway Ugh. Right, that's true. Love. Like I say, you do not need heaps and heaps on. Where's my cloth? I let that dry a bit and I shouldn't. Always look after your tools, ladies. And gents, of course. Right, so. <coughs> As you can see, I now need to dry these bits. They're not quite dry. So I'm just going to run the dryer over them. I've added little blingy bits on, but that doesn't matter about them being blingy because... Um, they won't stay like that. I'm going to paint over them. Uh, and the way to do that, take your brush. I'm taking one that's about a centimetre long. A uh, centimetre wide. Oh my, come on, Fee. About a centimetre wide. Uh, I'm going to paint them all white to start with. Now I'm just going to shake this up because I like to paint from the lid. There we go. And basically, I know I've painted the uh, thing, but the key, but just paint it all. Paint. Get down in the nooks and crannies, use smaller brushes if you have to. See how the wire's standing out? Paint over the flowers. Like I say, it, oh, it's coming undone again. It does not need to be perfect at all. I'm going to have to get a different brush, I'm afraid that I'll have to be glued in with um, glossy accents. Uh, let me see, let me see, let me see. I need another one like that, about that size. Oh, let's have a look. Oh, this one will do, I think. Yeah, that'll do. Oh, that feels a bit stiff. Maybe it'll do, we'll see. 
that holds a bit more paint anyway. See that's already discolouring because it's had the gloss, um, the um, inks on. Now I like to move around or move the board around. I like to see if I've got all the nooks and crannies to get the colours. Right, we're just going to get in and paint some of these flowers. You don't have to cover them all in white. The, that's a big mistake if you do, um, because they, unless that's what you want to do, of course. But uh, they do look nice with a little bit of colour. And even though you spray them, um, I may spray these. I may not yet. I'm not sure. You will um, still. They do look still look nice with colour. See like that. Now, I just have to get into the nooks and cranny bit there and I can fill any of this in with flowers if I want to so I'm not fussed about it not catching everywhere. And even though this is all white, I'm just going to go straight over it again. These I've got in the store, the little doves with flowers. If you want to go and get some of those. Not sure how many's left. I'm just going to flick some paint here, there and everywhere on this. A little bit more on the wings. A bit more on the flower there. And we'll go back to doing this.
I'll wipe some across the bottom, not that fussed about it to be honest. Because like I say, it is going to be coloured. Yeah, I think that'll do. I do like it with the shells on and that. Right, and now all really what I've got to do is to cover this picture. Um, I'm just going to soak that. Let's have a look. Yeah, I'm going to need my uh, big pot of tray, should I say, which is where? Hmm, that I do not know. I did have it. Probably got something else in it now. Right, let's have a look at this then. There we go. Um, I'm not going to dry it off because I want the um, sprays to work with the paint. I've just got to make sure I cover that little girl's face. Which now I'm just, yeah, I've got a piece of card. Let me have a look. Let me just cut an oval out. Hopefully that will work. I've got an oval piece here, which I'm hoping will do the trick like that, if that's held down firm, firmly, should I say. Right, spin that around. Now, let's just find some colour. I've got my favourite orange my limey green I don't really want our um, green I'm looking for a very nice brownish color I think yeah that one I don't know if that sprays though oh, it can be dark we shall see I might have to paint it on got like a gold hue to it oh that looks nice please spray no it doesn't want to <laughs> hang on right well I did get that one to spray I actually swapped the lid uh, and now what I'm going to do is just to go in with a little bit of I'm not sure if this is, see, oh, it's so maddening. Come on, spray. Oh, it is, it's just maddening. Well, the only thing to do is to swap. If that's the way to do it, then I'll have to do that. Because I know this one sprays. Like that. I, I absolutely love this colour. Right, anyway, we'll swap that back. Pop the lid back on. Oh, doesn't hurt them to swap, my god. I swap dozens. Right, 
Um, this one is the ancient copper. I don't know whether that will work. It's a little bit red. <laughs> it might not. Whoa, look at that. A splash of that colour. And I'm going to go back to. Oh, wait a minute. going to go back to the um this one again the brownie one just to tone that red down right so I'm just going to take this out of the pot do you know I, I just I want green I need a bit of green Where's the green? You know what I'm going to do? Huh? I haven't done this before. I'm actually going to try it. Um, let me see. I'm going to drip some alcohol ink because it is the green I'm after. I'm just going to drip some down the pitcher. Oh wow, I do like what happens. Oh, I do like that. Now, not sure if you can actually see that, but I can. <laughs> um, I just, because I don't want it the same as everybody else has it. I'm mixing, you know, alcohol ink with um, spray and I'm liking what I see. I do like that a lot. Yeah, drip, just drip. Let it go. And spray it on like that. Yeah. I actually loved that. I will dry it and show you in a minute. 